It never ceases to amaze me how much we take for granted sometimes. And like many of you, I just seem to go along with the flow and use a product for my own caravan without even thinking about it. I use it just because that's what everyone else is using. And then it struck me just how dangerous this can be, not knowing the facts and using a product and going along with the crowd or what other people use. One of the biggest topics, and one that keeps cropping up time and time again on caravan, motorhome and camping forums, is the question of how to sterilise or purify your water system, making a water supply that is safe to drink. And it seems that on every occasion you hear the same answers. As far as I'm aware, up until now there has only been one or two options, and that is to use a good filtration system that uses reverse osmosis or UV and neither of these are cheap to purchase. Other cheaper filters are simply just an active carbon filter. You'll probably recognize products such as Milton used to sterilize baby bottles and equipment. And I know a lot of people recommend its use, as I said earlier, just following the popular trend. So what exactly does this Milton solution consist of? Milton is a dilute sodium hypochlorite solution now forgive me if I'm wrong, but it's been a long time since I've studied chemistry. But isn't sodium hypochlorite solution also known as bleach? Well, that's exactly what it is. And that's why a lot of people use bleach to sterilize their water system in a motorhome or caravan. If you buy thin bleach, it is exactly the same chemical composition as Milton, just a little more concentrated. Bleach usually has a sodium hypochlorite at a concentration of 4 to 5% solution, whereas Milton is about 1 to 2%. And also bleach is a lot cheaper. Nevertheless, I'm not suggesting that you go out and buy thin bleach instead, just making you aware of what both products contain. And Milton is obviously made specifically to the correct concentration. So, use whatever you feel is safer. A different alternative is to use another chemical, either by adding a tablet to the water or in powder form. Commercially available caravan and motorhome chlorine based chemicals you may have heard of are Puritabs, AquaClean Tabs, or PuriClean. I have even heard of Camden tablets obtainable from wine and homebrew shops. Your local supermarkets may also sell their own branded sterilizing tablets, such as Asda. They sell a box of 56 Little Angels sterilizing tablets for as little as 70 pence. Now I'm not going to go into details here in this segment of how to use them, but suffice to say that before you use any of these chemical based additives, you should be aware of what exactly they are and how they can have an effect on your health for both you and your family. As I have said, all of these products contain chlorine and at high enough doses can be carcinogenic. Yes, you heard me right, they could give you cancer. Using chlorine or bleach in this way also will eventually damage the water pump seals and any stainless steel parts in your system. I recently wrote to two manufacturers and asked for their recommendation of what they use instead of using chlorine based additives. And when put on the spot they either did not reply to me or could not give me an answer. We have recently been sent to try out a brand new product on the market. We are not endorsing its use, selling it or even being paid to show it to you but thought that it would just make something of interest and an alternative to using chemical based additives. This is One Pure. It's a completely natural product made from orange pith, olives and willow tree bark. And if used at a 1 to 500 concentration, it can be used to sterilize your whole water system. And at a concentration of 1 part to 2000 parts of water will purify the water in your system. It also contains a natural lactic acid, which has the effect of softening the water, which in turn will prevent the build-up of scale in the onboard water heater. This also has the effect of keeping biofilm under control, which should go a long way in extending the life of the onboard filter. In laboratory tests, it has been proven that chlorine remains only stable, keeping your water safe and sterile for between 4 and 6 hours, while one pure's product remains stable for up to 28 days. So where does that leave us? For me I would try out this product myself, both in sterilizing the system and for drinking the water. But as I never drink water directly from the pumped water system, what I am prepared to do is add one pure to some water at the concentration recommended just to see if it taints the water in any way, and report back my findings in the next episode. 
Now both Whale and Truma have one pure currently on test and by the time this episode goes out it may be already on the market so if you want to find out more about one pure how to use it and where to get it from you can contact me direct details are in the show notes below 